Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be checking out the new Unreal Engine retargeting system that is coming out in Unreal Engine 5.4. Basically, they've added native support for the most common industry standard skeleton types. So we have things like Mixamo, Motion Builder, XSense, Move AI, Daz 3D, Character Creator, and MetaHuman. And so in this video, I wanna show you guys just how simple it is to now retarget any animation for any type of character inside of Unreal Engine 5.4. With this new retargeting system in 5.4, it will take you less than five minutes to copy any animation to any other character mesh that you want so long as it is a supported skeleton type whereas in the previous versions to retarget animations you had to use this very complex ik retargeter which was a really good tool but it was just complete overkill when you just wanted to very quickly get some animations retargeted for your custom character now before we dive into the video check out my courses on smartpoly.teachable.com if you are interested in making games inside of unreal engine luckily for you i have a complete multiplayer survival game course which shows you step by step how to create a multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine. I'm going to be remastering this course in Unreal Engine 5.4 and adding some new features in the course like controller input support, first and third person mode, and so much more. So if you haven't picked the course up yet, I highly recommend you do as I will be remastering it when they release Unreal Engine 5.4. Now with all that out of the way, let's get right into the video. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you have Unreal Engine 5.4 downloaded and installed. I'm currently using the Unreal Engine 5.4 Preview 1 that just released yesterday. Well, this is sort of like the beta version of 5.4, but this process should work the same. Then when you go ahead and launch Unreal Engine 5.4, just create a brand new third person template. That way you have the third person character and a few animations that we can test out. So now that we are in our project, I'm gonna showcase how you can retarget animations from Mixamo. So you can download these animations from Mixamo.com. So I'll leave a link to it in the description below. So these are all free animations you can download. You can just select whichever animation you want, click download and download the animation file or the FBX file. And this will work for any skeleton type. So if you have any other type of skeletons or animations, this will work completely the same. The first thing that you wanna do is you want to import the skeletal mesh. So I'm gonna create a new folder and name this Mixamo example. Double click, open that up. And we have this animation from Mixamo. The first thing that we wanna do is import the skeletal mesh. So let's duplicate this animation, copy and paste it, right click and just rename this. And we can just rename this to sk underscore mixamo. So this will be our skeletal mesh that we'll import first. Just drag and drop that into our folder. And we're going to leave all the settings as default. So you want to make sure that it imports as a skeletal mesh. You want to import the mesh and click import all. Okay, so that will go ahead and import the skeletal mesh. We'll get this little warning message, no smoothing group found. We can go ahead and ignore that. Close out of there. And you can see it imported the skeletal mesh. Sometimes it will import the animation itself, but for whatever reason, if it did not import the animation, I could delete these. Or if you want to use any other animation, once you've imported the skeletal mesh like this, you can just take the animation file, drag and drop it, and you just want to uncheck import mesh, okay? That way it will import as an animation. And of course, make sure that you have the proper skeleton selected, like so. We have the Mixmo skeleton and click import all. Now we'll go ahead and import that animation that we just downloaded. Okay, now with that open, we can open up the animation and you can see it playing here on the Mixamo character. Now to retarget this animation for say the UE5 or for any other skeleton type, all you have to do is right click the animation that you wanna retarget and click retarget animations. So once you select that, it will pop open with this retarget animations window. And then you can see things like the source. So this is the source skeletal mesh the source that we're taking the animation from, and then you want to select your target skeletal mesh. So first we can do things like the UE5 mannequin. So if you click this drop down, you can select SKM Manny. And now you can see in the bottom left, here are the animations for this Mixamo skeleton. So we have this dance animation. So if we select it, you can automatically see the preview of what the animation will look like on that character. So as you can see, it's automatically supported. So you don't have to create any sort of mappings or any IK rigs to instantly retarget the animation. So once you have that animation selected, or you can even select multiple animations in here, you select the animation, you just click export animation. It's gonna ask you where you want to save that newly exported animation. In my case, I'll save it to the Mixamo example folder. 
and then just click export. It's going to ask you if you want to overwrite existing files. We can just leave that as default and just click the export button. So now you should see the new animation asset that has been retargeted to the UE5 mannequin. So if I double click and open this up, you can see that newly retargeted animation playing on this UE5 mannequin. Okay, so this will work for any skeleton type. So I could right click this animation and do retarget animation. And I could even select something like the UE4 mannequin. So this is the SK mannequin. And as you can see, it also supports retargeting from Mixmo to that skeleton. You could also change the source type. So say I wanted to change the source to our SK mannequin, and I wanted to change the target to our SK Mixamo. We have this jog forward animation. I could retarget from the SK mannequin to the Mixmo skeleton. I could also retarget from the UE4 mannequin to the UE5 mannequin and vice versa. Now, the neat thing about this is that there are many different skeleton types that are automatically supported. So they added support for the most common skeleton types that you're going to be using. Things like MetaHuman, MoveAI, XSense, Daz3D, and Character Creator. So all of the industry standard skeleton types. And I'm just going to show you how you can retarget something like a Mixamo animation to the MetaHuman character. So in here, I have a couple of different Mixamo animations. I'm going to right click and click retarget animations. And you just want to select your target skeletal mesh. In my case, I have a MetaHuman character that I downloaded from the MetaHuman creator. And then you can select whichever preview animation that you want. And you can see that it's automatically mapped the correct bones because it's automatically supported right out of the box. So I'll say I wanted this shoulder hit and fall, or if I wanted to select multiple animations, you could just shift select all of these, click export animations, and we can create a new folder for this and just name this to add a human and click export and export. Now you can see the retargeted animations to the MetaHuman character, and we can preview all of these on our MetaHuman character, okay? So it took the animations from the Mixamo character and retargeted it to the MetaHuman skeletal mesh. So this new retargeting system is very quick and easy to use. And the neat thing about it is you can still use the old IK retargeting system, which allows for more flexibility. So the main purpose of this new retargeting system is to allow you to really quickly copy over animations from one supported skeleton type to another. Now, if you run into a skeleton type, for example, like a creature that has four legs or a quadruped type character that isn't supported, you can still use the IK retargeting system and create things like an IK rig and IK retargeter for more advanced skeletons and for skeleton types that aren't supported. And I have a full video detailing that entire process. It is a manual process, which is a lot more time consuming than this automatic retargeting system, but that does allow for more flexibility and skeleton types that aren't supported in the Unreal Engine 5.4 retargeting system. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to showcase how quick and easy it is to retarget animations from any supported skeleton type, whether that be Mixamo, the UE4 mannequin, MetaHuman. You can very quickly and easily copy animations to your character because it is supported right out of the box. So yeah, that is it for this video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. This is a huge quality of life update to Unreal Engine. I think they should have had support for retargeting to these skeleton types ages ago, but it's nice to see that they now added that support in the engine. Yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. Also check out my multiplayer survival game course. I'll be remastering it in Unreal Engine 5.4. And yeah, as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.